Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another video. Today's video we are looking at a prototype. A prototype of the Fireball Beach version of Cam Spinner. Definitely one of the weirder prototypes in my collection, although there really isn't any normal prototypes the more that you think about it. Recently got this guy off of eBay from China for just I believe $40, so not too terrible. Um, in the same uh, little package that I got the Factory Custom Chris Roman from my last video uh, and another Factory Custom that I'll be seeing in the next video. Uh, and I don't know wh why I'm really hiding what they are because I've already posted them on my, on my Instagram. It's uh, this golden Lightning McQueen right here. Uh, but that's for next video. Uh, this guy, I realized once he arrived and I was trying to take pictures of him, I actually do not have a normal Fireball Beach cam spinner. I think he was maybe exclusive to one of those four packs, and it was one of the four packs that I did not end up getting. So actually no comparison uh, to an act to the regular version of the Fireball Beach cam spinner, uh, which is really unfortunate because that's what I really wanted to do. I wanted to see, because um, the only main difference I know of now is that he has the engineering code right on his front bumper, and we'll take a closer look at that closer look at that earlier or later today um, and that is going to be difficult to do because as I mentioned in the Chris Roman video this is a very very shaky setup right now especially with this flashlight uh, kind of sitting in the way you see how when I move the flashlight to different spots it changes the shadows a lot you know shadows out here Ooh, my camera almost fell uh, <laughs> Move it around and it changes a lot if I move it so I, I, don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do when I try to zoom in to see that code because that's really the main uh, the only like proof we have right here that this is a prototype and a real prototype at that uh, this should be a real prototype I don't know why it wouldn't be um, but I know there is maybe a few sketchy prototypes that float around out there and I'm not talking about the ones that are obviously just like painted over um, and put on eBay for like $300. I'm talking about like like fake engravings, uh, which honestly at that point, uh, there's so few of those that they're actually probably rarer than the prototypes themselves, which is really interesting. Um, let's take a look at this guy. I mean, it's just normal cam spinner. We do have a real, we have, do have a normal cam spinner to look at him, uh, to kind of compare him to today. Uh, with the Fireball Beach decals, um, you have like kind of like a paler, uh, more matte finished, front end um you got the beach wheels it's got the uh, the of course the white underbody or not the white kind of like a tan underbody no date stamp which is i guess further proof that this is a real prototype um this back wheel definitely has seen better days uh, i actually kind of mess with that though because uh, i think prototypes are prototypes are supposed to be they're supposed to be kind of beaten up messed up um, even though I guess I probably would prefer a fully intact, uh, good, good, uh, good quality one. Um, I think it's, it adds a little bit more to the story, the history, the lore behind these prototypes. Um, and the cancelled cars, although cancelled cars is a whole other story. Triple dent, uh, as I mentioned, it's got the dirt, the, or the sand rather, just kind of like splattered up all throughout his sides. Um, and let's see how well I can do this without tipping my camera over. You can actually see it pretty well right there. If I move that light in uh, really really close, you can see uh, that number 030 code right on his front bumper, uh, which looks, well, that's the main attraction, really, until I can get my hands on a normal Fireball Beach Cam Spinner, which he is not, like, a very easy-to-find car. Uh, the four-pack is going for, like, upwards of like $70 and the loose version is like maybe 20. Um, so I'll look into that, but no guarantees right now. It reminded me a lot of this prototype of Bobby Rotesta I have, where the code is really only visible like underneath his mouth there. If you look really, really closely, and I'll go further in depth, in depth on this guy uh, soon. Not in this video, but in an upcoming video. Here he is with the normal camera spinner. You can definitely see the change in color um, because of the sand decals that they put on and the different finish they put on. They put on uh, weird, like, of course, you have the weird black eyeliner 
or eyelids, which is on almost every version of Cam Springer from almost every version um, of him that's been made from different brands. Really the only time I can think that I've seen him with the correct blue eyelids is in the movie, of course, um, in Cars 3 Driven to Win, and in the Rocket Racer release of him, which looks fabulous because of those eyes. He would be like a one of the best designs, I think. Uh, but Mattel, uh, I can't really blame, blame it on Mattel if everyone else is doing it, because I've seen uh, some of the, like, the images of the artwork that Pixar made. He has the black eyelids. Uh, but they just haven't bothered to correct this guy, even though he's been re-released multiple times since they've done the corrected Rocket Racer cam spinner. So that is just really annoying. See there, uh, the white rims uh, kind of obscure the fact that there's a bunch of sand in there because very similar colors, you know? Backside, no rookie stripes on the, um, on the Fireball Beach cam spinner. I wonder if that is intentional or not. I'm gonna guess that it is not because uh, right here, and uh, I will just kind of have these out to kind of compare uh, what the actual Fireball Beach uh, differences would be. I have a normal Michael Rotor and a Fireball Beach cam rotor, or Michael Rotor. One on the left is the Fireball Beach version. You can see the decals definitely aren't as strong as they are on some of the other Fireball Beach cars, but you can see no rookie stripes on that Fireball Beach cam or Michael Rotor, and you do have rookie stripes on the normal Thailand cam rotor, or Michael Rotor, dang, I can't, I cannot speak today. So I'm guessing that's not intentional, which is kind of lame. I thought maybe, just maybe, that, that would be like a, a little a little difference from the real thing. Uh, don't, not really sure why I have this guy out. This is the normal, or the, uh, the Fireball Beach Lightning McQueen, just to kind of show you what the Fireball Beach cars would look like and see uh, how it's like. The finish has definitely changed and there is a lot more, I'd say the uh, the sand is a lot more noticeable on McQueen than it was on Michael um, or on this prototype of cam right here. Uh, last little comparison, um, another car, I'm not too sure why I pulled it out, probably because it is a blue next gen with an engineering prototype code. And that is my prototype Steel Blue Jackson Storm. And this uh, this Jackson Storm is kind of who I'm hoping that Michael will turn out to be um, with multiple noticeable differences. Multiple noticeable differences. Um, the main difference for... Huh. Um, the main difference... I'm just trying to look at this guy in close up with my, with my own two eyes, not the camera. The main difference um, is that the Steel Blue Jackson Storm uh, the igniter logo is like almost invisible, um, and he doesn't have the painted blue wheels. And um, I could do a further in-depth video on that. I might have done that in the past. Uh, and there is that engineering code right on the hood. You can see the difference in fonts. They use a few different fonts for their engineering codes. Like uh, this one is the same as the Bobby Rotesta, I think. Uh, let's see. I have. Um, this guy right here, this Fillmore, looks uh, just kind of like a normal 171, maybe similar to uh, what we saw on that Jackson. And this one is also similar. This fan favorite to Lizzie right here. All right. Uh, that is pretty much it for today's video. A prototype of Fireball Beach Cam Spinner. A very uh, interesting car to have a prototype of, kind of random. I uh, haven't seen any other on the any others like this before. Um, so yeah, um, thank you very much for watching today's video, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.